What's up wizards? I learned the other day that I have been using the TypeScript Playground on low power mode, semi-skimmed mode, low fat mode, and I have now realized how to get the most out of it. So annoying to me. The thing that this, what this is, if you don't know the TypeScript Playground, it is a URL based playground that you can just write code in and it will like you can share it with anyone around the world. It's incredible. It's maybe the most useful thing TypeScript has ever shipped, and I've been using it wrong all this time. You can even do things like, you know, import from third-party libraries, and it will resolve the types automatically. So Z dot, you know, it's so good. Now, the thing that I've been using it wrong is that I didn't know it had plugins. You have super duper useful plugins, tons of them at your fingertips right here. And I have not even like scratched the surface of all of these cool stuff here. So let's look at three of them that I've been using. The first one is Prettier. So like by default, this TypeScript Playground doesn't have Prettier involved in it. You can like format the document here, but it doesn't do things like remove all of these like extra lines here. So you can just say make pretty and it makes it pretty. Oh, you can even add a Prettier config down here. And you can even replicate the behavior that you have in your editor with a format on save. This format on save does exactly the same thing. I've got it turned on, except it does it on save. Yeah! This is so annoying to me because I always get the formatting slightly wrong here and it just having this makes things so much easier. Now, the final thing is these TypeScript URLs are super duper long. And so I always go right over to like tsplay.dev and I put this in short links for the TypeScript playground and I go and enter it there. But turns out there's a plugin for that. I can just go to link shortener right here, create a short link and say, wow, cool. Uh, this is awesome. And I can create a short link. Boom, it's in my clipboard. And I can paste that into Discord, ask for some help or whatever. If you've enjoyed this video, if you too have been using TypeScript Playground on like crap mode all this time, then leave a comment below. What other plugins have you found? What other stuff have you found here? I'm going to have another video here that you should, you should watch, by the way, because, you know, these short videos, they're so much fun for me to produce. And I'm absolutely slamming them out, making videos on all the new stuff that's coming out in TypeScript. So yeah, I've been Matt Pocock and you should join my Discord as well because you're going to get a kick out of this for sharing code and helping other people like make their code better. That's at mattpocock.com forward slash Discord is down below and I'll see you very soon.